Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you had a fantastic weekend. Welcome to Smart Tech with Professor Torado. I am Professor Torado. Typically, I'm teaching automation, process efficiency, and psychology, but that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to basically talk about all products that are designed to make your life easier as well as affordable. If this is your first time on Amazon Live and you're watching on your laptop or your desktop, there are 40 products that are here. Many of them have built-in coupons. You will not be able to see that on the surface. So if there's something that you're interested in, just click on it, see it, and you'll be able to see the coupon as well. And we'll talk a little bit about, about that as well. If you're watching on your mobile device or on your tablet, feel free to scroll up and down. Just so that you're aware, there are four types of deals that you can find on this particular platform. One is the lightning deals, which you're probably very familiar with if you've been on this platform before. And there's usually like a little barometer at the, on the bottom that tells you how much have been claimed or how many hours is left. The second is the deals of the day. So that's typically deals of the day and usually lasts about 15 hours. And then the third is the promo codes that are usually found that the actual uh, influencers on this platform have access to. So if there's ever anything that you're looking for, just let me know in the chat section. I keep a, a record of that and I'm always happy to be able to look for what promo codes I can find. But the fourth one, which is a secret one, is the one which are the product discount codes. So that means that the actual product has a coupon built inside. Sometimes it's 10%, sometimes 20%. I actually found one that has about $100 off. $100 off. So I'll be covering those as well. So again, feel free to scroll back and forth if you're on your laptop or your desktop or on your mobile device and your tablet. Feel free to scroll up and down. Do not be shy. Don't wait for me to cover all of them because again, this is a platform for you to be able to see if there's something that you're interested in picking up. And if you have any questions along the way, just let me know. I'm happy to be able to answer them. We're going to be doing some product demos as well that I was able to pick up and share. So I will be covering those along the way as well. And if you want to be notified when I do go live, do not be shy. Just hit that follow button up here. I'm always talking about different discounts that I can find, especially when it comes to smart technology. And that's technology, that, again, that makes your life easier. So hopefully you had a fantastic, fantastic weekend. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's get started. So one of the first products I was like very excited to see, let me just make sure I pull up my, my detail codes here, is this one that I just highlighted. This is the Sennheiser wireless nose guard adapter noise canceling Bluetooth. Why am I excited about it is because the, if you know anything about headsets and Sennheiser, this one is 52% off. The full retail value of this particular product is $349.95. You can actually get this now for $169.45. So I'm like loving the fact that you can be able to pick this up for 50% off. Hello, Serena. Happy, happy Monday. My day is going well, and you probably will see that the lighting is going to get dim, and that's because it looks like it's going to rain outside. And if that's the case, I'm going to have to color correct and make sure I have some additional lighting on this side. Hopefully you are doing well. We are here talking about smart technology products and all the deals that you can find related to this. We're talking about this one, Serena, especially about Sennheiser. Sennheiser is a, a very well-known name brand and high quality, not to take away from others, but the fact that you can actually get this for 52% off, Full retail value is $349.95, and it's currently available for $169.45. It has over 1,400 ratings, four and a half stars. What I like about this one is that it has over 30 hours of battery life. So if you want that continuous type of sound and music, let's say you have to travel or you have to be on the plane for many long hours or whatever the case may be, you can have that continuous sound plus the fact that it has the noise canceling adaptive technology, which again, basically means that it will adapt to being able to have it nice and uh, not worry about what's happening outside. Mike TV, it should be, it should be, it should, it's about, I can't, I'm adding words to what you just said. So excited that you're here. It's about to rain here in Florida. Yeah, it's about to rain here in New York City as well. It's getting cloudy. And uh, as I was saying to Serena, who is here from Houston, that the color, if the color coordination changes, it's because I have to turn on the light right next to me here. And Mike, we are here talking about this this particular product, which is the Sennheiser, uh, which you can pick up for 52% off if you're looking for headsets. I like this one because again, it has 30 hours of battery life. It has Alexa.
Alexa built in. So you can be able to talk to Alexa or Google or Siri. So you can connect it to your smart home, your smart device, again, whichever, or smart assistant, I should say, whichever you tend to use. It has a triple microphone, so it basically allows you to have that clarity and the fact that it's long lasting. Uh, the thing I like about it as well is that it's collapsible. So you can be able to not have to worry about it just being very big. You can be able to collapse it into, so you have that ability to just make it easier to transport and the fact that it has, again, great sound quality. So I'm just excited about it because again, you can get this for 52% off. Why don't we take a closer look to see if this is something that you're interested in picking up. And again, you'll be able to get this for 52% off. The full retail value of the Sennheiser headset is $349.95. You can get it now for $169.45. That's a savings of $180.50. That is just amazing. At least it is for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> So we're talking about the Sennheiser headset. This is the PX552 uh, wireless. Uh, again, this allows you to be able to have and leave any background noise behind. So it's really noise canceling. You can be able to use any of your uh, assistants like Alexa, Google, Siri, and the fact that you can be able to give it voice commands. More importantly is that it has a 30 hour battery life. So again, if you happen to be commuting or you need to travel or anything of that sort, then you'll be able to have that continuous music along the way without actually having any of the sound outside. This specifically comes in very handy when you're in the subway of New York City and it gets very loud. So you can be able to listen to music and not have to worry about what's happening around you. You just have to make sure that you look everywhere just in case something is coming your way that you don't want. So this particular product as well has the ability to allow you to be, be able to recharge it. And it has also the uh, advanced ergonomic design. So it doesn't really add a lot of strain if you, again, are listening to continuous music as well. So this is something um, that, again, you'll be able to pick up and uh, you'll be able to get it for about 52% off. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Hopefully everyone is doing well. We're talking about 40 different products here that are designed to make your life not only easier, but also affordable. So if you're looking for something specific, feel free to click on any of the products that are down here below. There are 50, di sorry, 40 different products. And if you're watching on your mobile device or on your tablet, feel free to scroll up and down as well. So again, happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you are doing well. One of the other products, this is also a an earbud and actually I picked this one up. This one is, um, it's actually still on sale. So this actually was, I think, reduced price for Prime Days and it looks like it's still a lower price. We're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live True wireless earbuds. Now this one has over 32,000 ratings, four and a half stars. The full retail value is $169.99. You can actually get this now for $129.99. That's a savings of 24% off. It comes in several different colors, black. It comes in a mystic bronze, a red, as well as a white. So again, this one allows you to be able to to, uh, again, have all these abilities to pick up the sound. Mike is saying, I don't want to be rude, but can you not use? Uh, okay, so I will not use that word. By the way, Mike, I completely appreciate that. Mine tends to turn on, so I will avoid to using that word. I will, use, I will call her A. <laughs> <laughs> because you may be using echo. I don't know if you're using that as a, as a word, but just in case, we'll call it echo. So let, because I don't think many people use echo. I think they use the first one. So I will be very mindful of that, Mike. So we're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Buds, and this one particularly also allows you to be able to have that um, long-lasting battery. So you, you are able to uh, make sure that you have a great wireless charge and be able to listen to music um, for quite some time. It also has the sound by AKG Harman. So it has that quality again, the technology in there. So you're getting that rich sound as well, like the bass and so forth. Hey there, Jeff, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, New York is doing well. Uh, it is about terrain and Mike T was saying that it's about terrain in Florida as well. It looks like all the East Coast may be being hit with rain at some point. So uh, if you see my lights changing a little bit, I have to be able to make sure I'm illuminated. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see me appropriately. So thank you for joining. Thank you, Serena. Thank you, Mike T and anyone else that's watching. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. We're covering the Galaxy, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Buds. And this one is currently available for 25, 24% off. Apologies. 
for $129.99. So again, you're able to have, it has uh, three different sorts of microphones. It has a first microphone, a second microphone, and an inner microphone. So it has different ways of being able to make sure that you're able to not only pick up the sound, but you could also be able to actually take calls if you were looking to have something like that. So again, kind of covered a couple of deals that you may be interested in picking up as it relates to some of the electronics. And so this next one that I wanted to share with you is this Apple Watch, if you're looking for a smart watch. And we have Cece here. Hi there, Cece, welcome to the live. Hopefully you are having a fantastic Monday. We have Serena, we have Jeff, we have Mike TV here as well. Hopefully you're doing well and you had a fantastic weekend. We are talking about smart technology, basically all products that are designed to be smart and make your life easier as well as not break the bank. And so we're kind of talking about right now, this watch that I just clicked on the carousel, which is the new Apple Watch Series 6. It's a 40 millimeter watch, basically meaning the, the size of this piece right here is 40 millimeters. Sometimes it's 42, it's a little bit bigger. So it's a little bit smaller, just so that you're aware. And it has over 40,000 ratings, four, five stars, I should say, 40,000 ratings, five stars. And the full retail value of this one is $399. Now you can actually get this for $80 less for $319 overall. My tease, you don't need to adjust your legs because <laughs> you are illuminating myself. Yes, I have to say my aura, <laughs> my tea just illuminates myself. It's just this side of my face. I think I may have to illuminate. I don't know. It is what it is. As long as you can see me, that's what matters. So we're talking about this particular GPS watch. Now this GPS basically allows you to be able to get calls from your wrists, texts, the thing I like about this particular watch as well is the fact that it measures your blood pressure, I mean your blood oxygen. So it has an all uh, several new sensors so that you can be able to not only measure your oxygen, it, it's able to measure your heart rate rhythm using their ECG application and the fact that it is um, about 20% faster than the former watch that it used to exist. So again, you have a wide range of options that you can be able to choose from when it comes to watches, but this one is on sale for 20% off. So you can get it for $319 versus the $399 full price as well. Now, we are going to another product here, and this one I want to kind of showcase a little bit more. So I'm going to have to move my actual, uh, what do you call this, keyboard so you can be able to see it. So this particular product I wanted to share with you, I am really loving it. And uh, if you are interested uh, in picking this up, let's talk a little bit more about this. Hi there, Charles C. We see that you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday, and hopefully you're doing well. So this particular product that you can see here right now, it looks like a composition book. And so um, I, again, <laughs> Uh, I'm always looking for products that kind of look nice, but at the same time, um, it looks, what do you call it? How can I say this way? It, uh, it looks deceiving, I guess, if that's the point. So this is a, this is not a composition book. I just clicked on the product uh, code itself. And this is by Fine Tie, Fine Tie uh, sorry, Fin Tie, I should say. So this is the Fin Tie Slim Shell Case for the iPad Pro. It's available for $14.99. So I picked this up so that I can be able to house my iPad. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more about what the iPad does along with the actual pencil as well in a second. But what I wanted to share about this particular iPad case, it does come in different sizes. You have to just be very mindful that they're designed specifically for specific iPads. So this one by Fine Tie, Fin Tie, I should say, I don't know why I call it Fine Tie, but Fin Tie is currently available and this is for the 11 inch uh, iPad Pro. What I liked about it, besides the fact that you can see the camera here, it has a nice kind of rubber feel so that way you're not having to uh, worry about it in case it tends to drop. But more importantly, what I like about it as well is that you can flip this over so that you can be able to watch movies or stand it up. But more importantly, this also houses the pencil as well. And the fact that this particular pencil, you can has a little latch here that you can basically pop it out. So you're not having to worry about digging in for it. Plus the fact that with this particular product, you also has, has a little holder here. So if you were sense to draw or something like that, this is something that you can be able to use. So if you are a, you know someone that likes to draw or anything like that, you could just easily put your pencil right here as well. So Jeff T, does the case come in the regular iPad or is it just for the iPad 11? So let me move this because you're seeing the reflection of the light. 
So this does come uh, for other iPads. The one that I'm highlighting is for the iPad 11. You just have to go to the uh, FinTai store, uh, meaning the link here, and you'll be able to kind of click on it and you'll be able to see other, other uh, kind of designs. But I kind of like it because again, you're able to kind of hide your iPad and you know, whether it's for business or for school, it really does look like the composition book. I thought it was relatively neat and I was a bit skeptical at first because I, it's $14.99. This tablet costs clearly a lot more, but it holds itself up. So you don't always have to buy the most expensive cover for a product like this. And again, it has a nice kind of feel to it. And this also in here has like a nice, um, micro velvet cover as well and it also obviously turns on and off when you open up the actual cover itself so um okay so there's more conversations going on between cc uh mike and jeff and serena so why don't we go then into the actual ipad pro and this is the ipad pro 11 inch um, what I like about this one, I uh, saw someone uh, on the airport with a similar case, looks pretty neat. Yes, so then welcome A. Stan, Standiford, Standiford. Welcome A. Standiford. I like the case, and as I was saying before, um, I was again a little skeptical because sometimes when you see some of these things on Amazon, you're like, I don't know what's it going to look like. It looks really like a composition book, especially since this is the 11 inch pro and the fact that again, you're able to see the camera here. What I liked about this one before we go into the actual uh, tablet as well is the fact that it holds the pencil really nicely. And as you can see, the pencil automatically starts to charge so that I don't have to worry about it. So there's no falling of it so that I can just flip it over. Yeah, sometimes it's flimsy. So as you can see, I just flipped it over and the pencil does not fall off. So it holds the pencil really well. And the fact that you're able to just pop it out because there's a little la little kind of uh, slit in the back so that you're not having to dig in over here to pull the actual pencil. And the fact that you can actually just put this right here so that if you were a, like someone who likes to draw, you can be able to do that. So I agree with you, A, I like it. It's pretty good um, and it's solid. Like I accidentally did drop this. <laughs> have butter fingers and uh, it, it clearly it did not do anything wrong to the actual uh, iPad as well. So what I was liking about this one is that this one now uses facial recognition. Hold on, let me just make sure I'm looking at it. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, it's not cooperating for some reason. Um, of course. Hold on. I'm, all right. So anyway, so let me just kind of go back here. So this works with facial recognition. So uh, I had the old iPad Pro and I was usually have to use my finger to activate it. Now it is all based off of your, um, your facial recognition. And what I liked about it and what I noticed differently from this is, and let's go into let's say systems, is kind of like how sharp it is um, and I'm not going to turn on any videos because I don't know if the live stream will shut down because I know sometimes there's copyright laws and stuff like that when you put videos on. So I can only just really show you back and forth. I will show you how to draw, how it draws as well. So this one actually, again, allows, it has, it's very sharp. Um, the camera, I will be very frank with you. The, the forward facing camera, this camera right here on the front side is really sharp and I really like it. If you were to use this for selfies, mm, <laughs> it's got a better camera. I'm just saying that, you know, it's, it's not as sharp as the front facing cameras. My Samsung has a, a sharper front end image, but again, you're not going to be using this for selfies. You can, but it's not going to be your main primary use. Uh, but nonetheless, you have a wide range of options that you can be able to choose from. So A, uh, Staniford is, uh, Staniford is saying that your mom's greatest fear is losing the pencil, never uses it. Yes, the pencil is one of the main fee uh, fears that I had. And one of the other thing I was going to share with this Apple pencil is the fact that, let me just close this out so you don't see the shine, is that you're no longer having to fumble with pieces or any parts. So I had the original, not original, but the first uh, version of it. And my biggest issue I had was that not only did the, ca the, the cap came off, is that whenever I inserted it over here, it's so delicate that I was always afraid that it would snap. Uh, and in fact, I actually wound up uh, losing the, not the cap, but the actual, um, 
charging piece. So I always had to charge it with the actual tablet as well. What I like about this pencil here is this, and I just highlight it in the carousel, is that you don't have to worry about any parts anymore. And even with this case, and you'll see it in a second when I snap it into the case itself. And I'll take a look at the comment section in a second. As you can see, it snaps in and you'll see over here, it's charging. So this particular, um, product allows you now not to worry about actually uh, plugging it into anything because it will automatically charge with the actual tablet itself. So what that means is that you can basically put this away, charge it, and the best part of it also is that with this new tablet, it's a USB-C, so it's no longer Thunderbolt or any longer, or no longer any kind of proprietary plugs that you need to use because it's now USB-C. And so you just plug this whole thing in and the entire thing just charges itself. So you don't have to worry about charging the pencil separately like you used to do that before. And we're gonna see how it works as well. So let me just take a look. Um, Mike T TV was saying, can you get a replacement pencil if you lose it? Yes, yeah, so the pencil is not does not come with a tablet. You can always get a replacement pencil if you needed to in case you lost it. Like I said before, the light thing I like about this case is that it's secure in here and that I have to worry about it. And A is saying, I don't think theft and loss is included <laughs> in accessories. No, I don't know if it's covered insurance uh, if you get insurance for this um, let me see I have the first pen gen you can get a replacement okay so like it looks like uh, Jeff says you can get a replacement based on the insurance that you're getting so I'm just trying to catch up on some of the the uh, the actual um, conversation that's happening in the chat section so welcome everyone if you are just joining we're kind of just demoing oh there it goes we were just just demoing this particular product uh, which is the Apple uh, iPad 11 along with the uh, Fintai case which again I really like a lot and where am I I'm actually trying to open up another application which I did have currently available here it goes all right so we are going to do a new of these. What I liked about this as well is, and so when I first bought the original, I think it was, I forgot what, what version it was. It was so that I can be able to use it for uh, university and take notes. Um, and so what I like about this particular pencil as well is the fact that it does write not only smoothly. So, oh, hold on a second. Uh, not only uh, you can write smoothly, you can basically, as you can see with my handwriting, <clears throat> you can basically see how well it picks up and, it, and I'm actually leaning against it. Um, so my handwriting could be a lot better, but usually professor's handwriting is chicken scratch anyway, and we expect you to realize what I'm writing. <laughs> So nonetheless, it really writes very well. So if you wanted to be able to draw or take notes, it, the contact is very smooth. And uh, again, I'm able to add more. As you can see, I was drawing before. So you can do anything you want. And the app I'm using, you know, it allows you to change it to pens, pencils, uh, or anything of that sort. So that's kind of just allowing me to be able to draw. But again, you're able to easily use this as well. So Serena is asking, how much space does the iPad 11 have? And does that uh, does that back of the uh, as an eraser eraser? Um, actually, I don't know. That's a very good question. I should know that question answer to that question. I don't think it serves as an eraser. Um, no, I don't think it does. But I have to double check. I haven't played it long enough <laughs> to be able to see if it serves as an eraser. And then in regards to the um, iPad 11, this one has, I think, 128 gigabytes. I didn't get a lot of gigabytes because for my own purposes, I don't need it for a lot of storage. Um, but you can actually get this one for just the Wi-Fi version alone. And that one I'm highlighting right now is discounted by 6%. Full retail value for this iPad 11 2021 is $799. You can get it for $749, which is 6% off. So you're saving $50 right now, and that's just a Wi-Fi one. But you can get it with one terabyte, two terabytes, 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes. So you can get it in a wide range of gigabytes if you needed more space as well as cellular. So you have a wide range of options, obviously keeping clear that this one, again, allows... Uh, 
what do you call it? It's based off, the price is based off of the different options that you choose. Can you hook the tablet to a projector? Yes, you can. Uh, it, because this is a USB-C port, what the beauty part of this is, is now you can actually connect it to a USB-C hub. So a USB-C hub will give you the option to be able to connect it to a projector. In fact, Mike TV, one of the things I am going to start to play with is seeing if I can actually, um, you know, zoom in. I've seen some of the other live streamers using their tablets to zoom in and out. So I'm going to be playing with it. But yeah, to answer your question, because of the USB-C connection, you have a lot more flexibility. Not that you didn't before with the older models, but you have to always find some sort of... Um, adapter to be able to connect other things and Kayla thank you so much for the follow and Kayla just for the follow I want to recognize that where is my button over here and there you go I like little children hey. <laughs> um, but you saw a a stand for saying yes but I've had some issues uh, so you had some issues. Hold on a second. What happened with my screen? So you're saying you have some issues with the resolution uh, mirroring this display. Yeah, I do think that um, it depends also on what you're projecting. So if your resolution is lower on the projector and this happens to be a higher, then it's not going to really translate very well. But nonetheless, you're still able to connect it uh, through the USB-C hub into either like an external monitor or a projector or anything else. So if you're just joining, we're just kind of covering a little bit more about this Apple iPad. And as you can see, the camera is picking up these little two sensors that are coming up here. Um, and also the Fintai cover, which I really like a lot. And maybe because I'm a bit of a nerd and I love school and that's what it reminds me of, but you know, I don't care. This is what I want what I like and hopefully you like it too. <laughs> so welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining, this is Smart Tech with Professor Toronto. Hopefully you are having a fantastic Monday. We are covering all things smart technology and we were just going over uh, several different questions uh, from the folks that have been watching. We have Serena, we have Jeff, we have Mike T. We also have Kayla who just followed as well as a Staniford as well, just kind of timing in a little bit more around this particular product. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat section. Happy to be able to answer any of the questions. We're talking about three different products kind of in one, kind of one demo, the composition book, which is again, a great, great cover and a smart cover for your tablet. This one is specifically for the iPad Pro, but you can be able to get this for others as well and the Apple Pencil as well. So again, I really do like it a lot because of the flexibility that you may be able to have. So those are just a couple of things that I wanted to make sure that you are aware of. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. There's another product that I also want to demo, but I am gonna grab, grab a quick glass of water, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to speak. So if you ever watch Utechpia, David, he is uh, a live streamer as well. <clears throat> he's joined several times my live stream and makes fun of me because he's like, you refuse to drink water in front of the camera. And it's, I don't mind it. It's just, you know, I, I don't think you need to see me drinking water. So I kind of play a little transition. But one of the other products I wanted to share with you is if you happen to have um, the need to organize, were you in Matt's room before? Yes, Mike T, I was in Matt's room before. Um, so yeah, I was saying hello to Matt. So we are, uh, yeah, that's right. I forgot, Matt, you were in that room as well. I didn't, I didn't, oh yeah, he asked you about what the TV meant. I was having him in the background. I did not, was not paying full attention, but I do remember he asked you about TV. Why was there a TV after your name? And that actually sparked him to talk about him being on TV, if I'm not mistaken. So, but thank you, Matt TV, for being here. I appreciate it. And you hopping in here as well. Yes, Utechpia was making fun of me because um, I don't like to drink water in front of the camera. I, I don't mind if I'm showing a product. I just don't want my whole face. <laughs> you don't need to see that. Anyway, this next product, I'm also going to demo as well. And in fact, I demoed it yesterday, meaning I unboxed it. And it's now at reduced by 15%. So we're talking about the Hercules, Hercules Tough Charging Station. <laughs> and when I hear Hercules, I'm thinking of a movie. And so I'll just leave that there. 
but I love Hercules Top. It's a charging station for multiple devices. It has six USB ports and it works well for your cell phones, your smart devices, your tablets. It has over 8,800 ratings, four and a half stars. And again, the full retail value is $39.99. You can actually get this now for $33.99. That's a savings of 15% off. So I'm gonna show you, again, I already unboxed it, but I wanna show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna plug it in as well because yesterday I didn't plug it in. I wanted to show you what it does when it is plugged in. So let's take a closer look at this product as well. Yes, that's right, Mike TV, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the product that we're talking about here and this one is the hercules tough charging station and i already unboxed it it would be pointless for me to put it back in the box and unbox it but i am going to show you what it looks like that's right serena i'm going to show you what it, what it looks like and so this clearly came unassembled so i had to assemble it it did not take that long to assemble it comes with seven different like dividers in here and it, it also comes with the cables which i really liked as well so you're not having to buy the cables many times when you're purchasing these organizers you have to purchase the cables separately now this comes with six cables they're all mainly designed for iphone but you can be able to easily attach other cables in here so it's not just only for the iphone as long as you have a usb usb connection you could be able to charge anything as well now the thing i also like about it is the fact that this kind of charges your devices up to like 50 i think it's 53 percent faster or 58 percent faster so if you were a business owner if you are a household with a lot of people in the home like kids family members then this is an easy way of being able to organize all your devices as well now i'm also going to take out the phone that i that i'm using to be able to stream so what you're going to see in a moment is that this light just turned blue so let me just make sure you see it right here so this is just indicating that this is on what i like about this particular product compared to other ones and again i'm going to move my phone out here so you can see it this is how I stream, is that, I'm gonna shut this off, is that when you plug this in, you're gonna see this in a second, it will turn blue, and don't make me a liar, yeah, it turned blue, and as you can see, it's 99% charged. Now, what this means is that when it's blue, it means that it's charging. When the light goes off, it, will, it basically lets you know that it is no longer charging. So it gives you a visual cue that the product is no longer charging and it's done, so you can unplug it. So if you're always aware, uh, worried about overcharging your product, you can be able to easily know that because this light will actually shut off. Because it said 99%, I'm hoping that this will charge by the time I'm finished talking about it and you'll see it shut off. And if not, then, you know. <laughs> I won't be waiting for that long. So this phone is the iPhone. What is i? Oh my goodness. That's a very good question. I think this is the iPhone 11. Yes, that's right. Sorry. I'm like all this other products here I'm like looking at right now. And um, let me see. Okay. Yes, this is the iPhone 11. So now, as I was saying before, this particular product gives you a lot of flexibility being able to not only charge your phones in one location, um, but also you, it gives you the visual indicator by the blue light to let you know when it's finished charging. I'm gonna shut this light off, which means I'm gonna go dark over here so you can be able to see it a little bit better. Actually, I'm gonna turn this light over here next to me so that you can see me from the side. Otherwise, I'm like in this blue light over here. Let me see. Did that work? Yeah. All right. Maybe that will work. So is it bad to charge your phone once it has one, reached 100%? So Kayla, it's advisable to kind of unplug it because sometimes you tend to overcharge it and it is a battery. So you want to make sure that you're not overcharging it. Uh, if you do it once in a while, I don't think it's a bad thing, but many of the devices nowadays, like if you use the, um, what do you call it? Like those, um, Oh, goodness me. Uh, the chargers that you just put your phone on top, it would automatically just stop charging so it won't have to worry about it. And that's also another reason why I like about the blue indicator as well is that it will tell you that it stopped charging. So anyway, I just shut the light off so you can be able to see the blue illumination. This one is specifically letting you know that it is on. And this one, as you can see, let me just unplug this here. I'll plug another one over here so you can see this as well. Um, how it illuminates. So as you can see, this just turned blue as well. So I'm gonna turn this light off because it's just annoying on this side and I'll turn this one back on. 
So again, it allows you to be able to uh, charge your devices relatively easy and organize everything specifically. So we um, just go make sure I uh, capture the chat. All phones nowadays have smart charge, so you don't have to worry about the charge. Thank you, Jeff, for that. And we have Amazon customer around a month ago, a month ago different you asked you a phone uh, was on, and you got an iPhone 11. Yeah. Oh yes, Amazon customer. I think I answered your question. So this is the iPhone 11 and uh, nothing wrong with iPhones, love iPhones, yes. So uh, yeah, I have iPhones, I have um, the, the Samsung one and this one, by the way, uh, is from a work phone. So that's why I had to actually relook what kind of phone this one was. So I don't really use it uh, other than for work purposes. So needless to say, we are here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Monday, everyone. We are talking about smart products here. We were just talking about the Hercules Tough Charging Station. It's currently available for $33.99. If you are looking for something that allows you to keep all your devices in one location. So let's just say you happen to have meals at home uh, with your family and everyone has a no phone rule where you have to have all phones away. This is a great way to have this in the kitchen so that you can basically have all your devices plugged in. Even though it comes with the uh, iPhone charging uh, ports or charging cables, you can always plug in your Android or anything else because Basically, you just need a USB plug and you're able to easily charge any of your devices. It has six ports. It is able to charge your devices up to 58% faster. And the fact that you're, this is something you can be able to use with all your devices if you're looking for something to be able to charge and make your life easier. So this product is, again, currently available for $33.99. It is a discounted value. Current, the full retail value is $39.99. And it has over 8,800 ratings. Uh, so it's four and a half stars. So if you're looking to be able to pick something like this up, feel free to do so. Welcome everyone. Happy, happy Monday. Hopefully you're doing well. We have Kayla, we have Jeff T, we have Amazon customer, we have Mike TV. We have a whole bunch of folks here in the chat section. Feel free to join in the party and say hello. Do not be shy. We are talking about a whole bunch of different products here. And uh, again, if you are just new to Amazon Live and you just happen to stumble on my live um, on a product page, just so that you're aware, you are welcome to scroll back and forth to the 40 different products that I have down here if you're watching on your desktop or your laptop. And if you are watching on your mobile device or your tablet, you can feel free to scroll up and down as well. And as you can see, the lighting has gotten a lot darker. So I need to turn on my lights a little bit brighter. So give me one second. And it looks like it's going to start pouring where I am. Let me see. Let me make this brighter. Whoopsie, that's too dark. Give me one second. And uh, you can see me again. You probably can see my face now shiny. So do not yell at me for shiny face. <laughs> so we have, um, where are we? So Amazon customer. Um, yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Amazon customer. This is a great product if you're looking to pick something like, can you show what you're drinking if you don't? Oh, it's water. I'm just drinking water. Uh, that's all I'm drinking. Sometimes I drink coffee. <laughs> Mike TV, come on now. This is a family channel. <laughs> um, how long is the AC cord? Uh, the, uh, I think it's about five feet. Let me see. Not five feet, sorry. Uh, it's about, I think it's about two feet. I have to double check what it says in the product page. I'm looking underneath. I guess you're in New York because it's about to rain. Yes, Amazon customer. It is about to rain. I warned everyone that my lighting will start to get a little wonky. And that's because of the fact that it's getting dark and it's going to pour. And I, I think I need to measure the cord, the AC cord. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what it is, the, the exact length of the power cord, but it's not very short i have to admit because i'm actually plugging it in under this desk that's here so um but i think it's about two feet if i'm not mistaken i'll actually unplug it so you can see it so i just unplugged it from my thing as you can see it's about it's pretty long it's not a short cord so it's a very genuine generous cord because many times the cord of the um 
of the charging stations tend to be very small, I mean, very, very short. So hopefully that helps answer your question. So it's about, I think it's about two feet, 12 inches, maybe more than that, because this is about 12 inches. Something like four feet, I should say, now that I'm thinking about it, now I'm looking at it. It's about four feet, I think, four feet. Uh, it says uh, that's two meters. Yes, it's about two meters. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, a Staniford, I'm hopefully I'm saying your last name right with A. And I, yes, I'm in New York. It's raining. The floods in New York. Uh, that's not two feet. Two meters is one point at least. I don't know what to say, Jeff. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I have. I'm looking at it just by view. So it's not two feet. I think it's, anyway, I, it's long. It's long. It's not short if you're worried about it being short. Welcome, everyone. And people are giving me grief here in the chat section for measuring my cords here. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Happy Monday, everyone, wherever you are. It is about to pour here in New York City. So if you're seeing my lighting go down, it is because of the fact that it is about to rain and rain and rain. And uh, I think Mike TV was also saying that it's going to rain as well, where he has a stream wanted me to char change my name to Mike TV since he was obsessed with the chocolate factory. Um, um, I'm not really sure I follow Mike TV. I, I, I tend to read too fast. Um, I think I wanted me to change. Anyway, I'll get back to you in a second, Mike TV, but thank you for sharing. Um, so we are here talking about all things that are smart technology and designed to uh, make your life a lot easier without specifically breaking the bank. And so we were just covering the Hercules Tough. And one other product, I guess, if you're interested in looking for TVs, center, uh, Randy's saying center of your chest uh, to your fingertips is about three feet. Center of your chest to my finger is about three feet. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to get a measuring cord. Now everyone's one trying to figure out how many. Well, give me one second. <laughs> Oh Lord, I'm out of breath. All right, got a measuring tape. You see what you've done, A. Sanford? It is, all right. Yeah, it's five feet. I was right the first time. It's five feet. Yeah, it is long, it's five feet. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I ran back and forth. You asked. I wanted to answer the question. That's what I'm here for. So it's five feet, A. Sanford, making me sweat over here on my life. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you're having a fantastic day, everyone. As you can see, we are just having fun here. We're talking about all things that are designed to make your life easier. We're getting all these different, I know, Serena, I said two feet. I'm sorry, it's five feet. I just remeasured it. That's the reason why I ran over there because I tend to be very, stickler about these things and i wanted to make sure that i got the right one right right uh measurement it doesn't say it in the product page so now i know it's five feet there we go brandy was right yes absolutely so we are now going to be talking about this next product if you are looking for a deal on tv on tvs not on tv on tvs there's this hisense 55 inch class h9 quantum series android 4k uled smart tv with hands-free voice it is four and a half stars and uh, you can actually get this for 25% less. The current value of this product is $999.99. And you can actually get this now for $749.90. That's a savings of $252.09. And, uh, and this, again, is the 55-inch TV. What I liked about this TV, besides it being a smart TV, and if you're familiar with smart TVs, or maybe if you're not, basically you, it allows you to eliminate cords. You don't have to use a Fire Stick or a Chromecast because all of the actual applications are built into the, into the TV itself, allowing you to be able to stream Netflix or anything else that you want to be able to watch. And this has about uh, up to about a hundred, I'm sorry, about to, up to a thousand nits peak brightness. So it basically allows you to be able to optimize any kind of viewing from a gaming standpoint. It measures about 48.5, talking about specific pressure measurements here, 28.2 by 3.9 inches. So it's a, it's a thin, it's thin. It's not extremely um, 
a thick TV, so you can be able to hang this. It has the 4K Ultra LED. It has an H9G Quantum Series. So again, it allows you to be able to have that really high definition. It also has a Dolby Vision uh, Atmos and also full array of local dimming. It has a motion rate, uh, rate of 480 and as well as the peak brightness as well. Why don't we take a closer look to see if this is a product that you're interested in picking up. We're talking about the Hisense Android TV. This again is a 4K premium ULED uh, cam uh, TV, I should say, and it's currently available for $749.90. That's 25% off the full retail value of $999.99. Let's take a closer look just to take a look to see what this looks like, to see if this is something, again, you're interested in perhaps picking up. All righty, so got to see a little bit of sense here. So curious, how do you feel about motion rate technology as good as the real? I don't think anything is good as the real thing, to be very frank with you. I mean, I think you can try to get as close as possible. But to answer also Amazon customers question about the um, Apple TV itself, it really depends as to what you're currently watching. Like if you have Netflix, Amazon Prime, you have, let's say, Hulu, um, then the question really becomes, do you really want to add something else to your bill? Uh, so I really just think it depends as to what your budget is. And if budget is not a constraint, then yeah, why not? But if budget is a constraint, then I just ask you to be very mindful around what specifically you're spending and investing your money in as far as the different streaming apps. So that's kind of my response to your question regarding uh, the Apple TV. Not that it's a bad thing. I just think that it just depends as to the type of programming that you're looking to watch and is there enough programming in there for the value of the investment that you're going to be making I'm always about making sure that you get your big you know your bang for your buck for what you're investing in so always expect my honest answer and that's my honest answer now oh by the way by the way Amazon customer with the tablet just so that you know it comes with a year's worth of Amazon TV for free I don't know if you know that but I haven't tested it out, by the way, just so you know, because I have all those other apps. So we have Kiro saying Apple's streaming is lacking. Uh, yeah, I haven't like gone out of my way to, to get it because I do have all these other streaming apps. But as I was saying before, the iPad Pro does give you a year's worth of Apple TV. And maybe, I mean, I haven't activated. So as you can see, I've not gone, you know, let me activate it now. Let me take a look at it. So I may at some point, but I have too many other things that I'm looking at. So that's just my advice. So now if you're talking about and wanting to watch outdoors, you know, we're getting outdoors. I'm super excited. I think about a year ago, I think we're all depressed. <laughs> <laughs> at least I know I was, you know, not being able to go out though. So Amazon customer, I was talking about the Amazon, oh, sorry. The uh, the Apple iPad Pro 11, it's in the carousel. I'll click on it as well. Um, but what I was going to get to is going to say, uh, you may be able to get the Apple TV app from the Play Store if you, uh, yes. Oh, yes, you can actually. So you don't have to actually get the, uh, by the way, uh, Amazon customer. I don't know if you meant the actual uh, device. You can actually get the app streaming as well. So you don't have to worry about getting the device as well. But anyway, as I was starting to say, if you are looking to be able to be outdoors, 
because we've been indoors for this uh, time where I thought the world was ending. And so perhaps pick up this particular product. It's a mini projector. It has 65,000 lumens. It's a portable LCD projector. And the fact that you can actually get this for 35% less. The full retail value of this product is $149.99. It's currently available for $96.79. You're saving 35%. What I like about this particular projector is that it also comes with an actual um, what do you call it? The, um, oh goodness, I'm losing my train of thought here, but it comes with the, uh, projector itself. So this one is 11,000 ratings, four and a half stars. And so it has the LED, LED projector. So you'll be able to use this with native resolution. You can be able to stream. You can basically, it's portable. So you can be able to be, use this outdoors if you want it to be outside in the back in the backyard or anywhere else if you're going to camping so you have a wide range of options to be able to project with this particular projector itself so this is ideal for indoors or outdoor movies so if you wanted to turn your basement into yes mind fog jeff absolutely <laughs> mind fog i'm like what's going on now this actually allows you to be able to uh has a maximum support of 170 degrees sorry sorry 70 170 inch display size so that way you don't have to necessarily invest too much on expensive tvs you can be able to use this as a way to be able to um so yeah you could be able to see stuff and so forth and richard i'm really sorry to hear about what you just shared but as uh so i was i was saying being able to stream and being able to see movies on this particular projector does allow you to be able to see full hd and the fact that you have a wide range of options that you may be able to um choose from so you could be able to see hulu roku um uh what do they call it um hbo now sling so you have a wide range of options at this tv as it allows you to be able to do that so and yes amazon customer you're welcome you're able to get a 30-day trial you can test it out so i, I uh, and thank you a staniford for me that mention as well i thought he was talking about the app not the actual device i don't know it's it's mind fog here <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're having a fantastic Monday. Happy, happy Monday, everyone. If you are just joining, we are talking about the QKK mini projector. And this particular projector is currently available for 35% less. It's now available to you for $96.79, where the full retail value of this product is $149.99. And again, Richard, thank you for sharing what you shared. And I apologize or lose for you. I mean, I feel sorry for your loss as well. So one of the other uh, products I wanted to share with you, actually, this is where we were talking about secret deals, um, ones that people are not always aware of. And many times it's hard to find because there is, you can filter for some of these, but you can't always find them until you actually look at the product. And so this one is specifically for a chair and you can actually get this. Let me just make sure I get this right. Hold on one second. So you can actually get this product for $149.99 and there is a built-in coupon. So this is the blue chair, uh, the blue whale, blue whale massage chair, blue whale massage computer gaming chair. I don't know what is going on with me right now. And so this one has four and a half stars. It's a, three and a 342 ratings. Full retail value is $199.99, but you can actually get this for $149.99 after applying the $50 coupon. So this allows you, again, to be able to save as much as you can on a chair. And I think I have a question here. So we have a question from Steve. How is it? How, how is it a lighted room? What inputs? Um, so Steve, I'm not sure. Are you, if, oh, if you're, I think if you're speaking about the projector, maybe I went a little too fast, so I apologize. It has 6,500 lumens, if that's what you're asking for. And the inputs is the HDMI. So you can input through HDMI. And it's also, oh, he means the LED lights. Oh, so, uh, but yeah, actually, do you mean the LED lights? I'm, I'm actually talking about the uh, projector here. <laughs> thinking that's what you're asking you can actually connect a tv stick games uh, and so forth so S steve if you can just clarify a little bit more um i can be able to answer your question i just assume you were talking about the projector as well yeah the projector that's what i thought steve so you're able to connect the tv stick hdmi um it is an ab projector it is also compatible with your smartphone so if you wanted to be able to use your smartphone you can be able to use it as well uh so you have a wide range of options to use it it has a headset port it has an av port 
it has several ports in there as well as even an SD card. So you wanted to like record, uh, uh, show anything from uh, a memory stick, you can be able to do that as well. I mean, a memory card, you can do that as well. It has a VGA input. So you have a wide range of options to connect to the actual device itself so that you can be able to project off of uh, the projector itself. So, and you have a, a different options as well. So you're wondering how the projector held up in a room with lights on. Oh, sorry. So I misunderstood. So, um, that's going to be very hard for me to answer because I don't have this one specifically, uh, with me. I, I'm looking at the lumens. So the lumens is 6,500 lumens, which is our powerful loom uh, is bright. So it depends as to how lit your how illuminated is your living room or the space so if it's a lot of light clearly with any projector you're not going to be able to see it because it's going to wash it out but if you have a space like what you see behind me that's a little bit darker you should be able to see it without any issues so that's one of the reasons why i'm mentioning that because the lumens tend to be really high my other thing also is you're always welcome to get it and if it doesn't work out you're always able to return it as well if you have the prime as well not that you want to go through that hassle but i just want to make sure that you're aware of it i don't have it with me to demo it to just kind of say that's exactly what it looks like but based on the information that i have that's what i would be my what i would recommend as far as the lumens are concerned so hopefully that helps answer your question steve we were talking about this ergonomic chair and this particular chair, you can get it for $149.99. And it is a massage computer gaming chair. So if you're looking for a gaming chair that will help, uh, that's not only ergonomic, and it also has like the, um, what do you call it? The uh, lumbar support as well. Then this is one that you may want to consider picking up. It also has, um, you could be able to use it with three different types of lifts. So you can be able to make sure that you're well elevated when you're gaming. Let's take a closer look to see if this is a product that you're interested in picking up for yourself. As I mentioned before, it has the Eskrim ergonomic design here. So it has the lumbar support and the fact that you have an adjustable massage lumbar pillow. So that's the massage part. And the whole chair is not a massage chair, even though it says massage, you have the massage in the lumbar and the fact that you're able to tilt it up to 155 degrees uh, and you can make it up to 90 degrees from a tilt standpoint. And the fact that the materials are very strong materials so that if you are uh, using it, you can be able to make sure that it does last for you for quite some time. And it holds up to about 350 pounds. So um, that's, where the weight constraints are as well as the height as well as here so hopefully you're having a great day and also you can see here here's a 50 dollars coupon as i was mentioning before so if you're looking for any deals many times the products have built-in coupons actually i saw one yesterday for about a hundred dollars off which i thought was amazing so what time is it oh goodness me we're almost we have a lot to cover and i'm like Ooh. Um, so we are now going to be covering a whole bunch of other products here as well. Let's talk about this particular product right now. This product I wanted to share with you, it does look comfortable, Serena, is this one. So right now you are viewing me on this Logitech Brio. Now this Logitech Brio is 13% off. The full retail value of this Logitech Brio is $199.99. Actually, I think I saw it for about 150 something dollars last week. And that's when I bought this other one that you are seeing me when I do the demos. So I'm using the Logitech Brio 4K. I love it. It's a plug and play um, camera and it does uh, actually record in 4K. As you can also see, I kind of have like that blurry background. This is real, by the way, that's not a fake background. So this is real and it allows you to create that blurry background that you sometimes see a lot of the YouTubers have with the DSLR. So DSLR cameras can go for like 600 to 1000 even more. This particular web camera is $174 and you're getting similar effects. Also, if you noticed, it's very light sensitive. What I mean by that is if you did not or you're just starting out building content or anything of that sort, you don't need a lot of light to illuminate or pick up light as well. The only reason why I have some lights right now is because the sun is gone because of the fact that it's raining. But otherwise, as you can see, you can see me well illuminated and you can also have that blurry background. This particular product has over 6,800 ratings, four and a half stars. It is currently available for 174. That's savings of 
13%, plus the fact that it also is in 4K. Again, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I cannot recommend it anymore uh, if you're looking for very sharp quality. The one thing to keep in mind is that you are actually watching me on 720p. Not that I mean to, not that I mean to spill the tea, um, but that's just the, the the platform, and that's not the camera. So the camera does record in 4K. And so if you're like wondering how come you can't see my pores, that's because of the way the platform works. It's not the camera itself. So you have that ability to be able to do that. Plus the fact that you're able to also have different different zoom options if you wanted to be able to zoom, um, not zoom in the zoom program, but zoom in as far as zoom into the, the, the subject itself. And the fact that you're able to record in 60 frames per second, which is what 60 FPS stands for. And it also has, again, the 4K quality. You can also downgrade it to 1080p if you wanted to. So this is a great, great web camera if you're looking to, again, either create content or be on camera as I am right now. And so you're able to kind of see the quality of what you're seeing from this particular camera. The next product that I wanted to share with you is this one, which I also love. Now, I have been a very big fan of the Blue Yeti. And the one I'm actually speaking to you on right now is the Shure MV uh, podcast microphone for podcasting. I'm going to move this just a little bit so you can see it a little bit more. I have it on a bit of a boom arm. So I kind of hide it away. Uh, so it's probably getting loud. I kind of hide it away from the camera, the the actual camera as well, because I don't really, some people like it right in their mouth. I don't, I just like to have it away from me and I don't like to be able to see it so much on the camera. This is a personal preference. Everyone has a preference. But what I like about this particular um, microphone is that it picks up really rich sounds. So if you are a singer or if you're podcasting, this is a great microphone. You don't need to purchase this kind of, uh, make this level of investment if you're just starting out, just so that you are aware. Uh, you're better off just starting with your phone. But if you are an avid, an active uh, podcaster or speaker or um, performer, then making the investment may make sense. Again, really just depends as to what your objective is. Now, the thing to keep in mind uh, and why I like this one, besides the fact that it eliminates any of the sound that's coming from the outside, it already has the pop mic here, I mean, the, the, the cover as well. So it helps eliminate any of that popping sound. And also the fact that um, this also allows you to um, mute as well. So you can be able to mute the actual um, camera, sorry, the, the actual microphone as well. So when you see me playing videos, you see me looking over is because I want to make sure that I'm muted and you're not hearing any extra sound. The one thing I want to keep in mind, even though it does have five stars and it has over 1500 ratings, is that for the value of this price, um, this particular um, actual device does not come with a stand. So that's one thing that I wasn't too happy about. It comes with the microphone. It comes with two of these. Um, well, it's not this one, but two uh, actual cords, USB-C and the regular USB uh, cord that you can plug in. You can attach this, and if I'm getting loud, I apologize. You can attach this also to a uh, mixer, an audio mixer, if you wanted to. I like it again, as I said before, because it's a plug and play. Uh, I have also used the um, the the, uh, the 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 Brio, the uh, not the Brio, the uh, Blue Yeti. And the Blue Yeti also has a, le a level of functionality that, again, is conducive based on what you're specifically looking for. So um, Jeff T is saying, uh, look at the camera, look at that camera, you're using the camera. But yeah, I am using the, cam the the Brio camera. So sorry, I wasn't looking at it. I was kind of looking through the uh, different products that I have here at this particular point. And so where are we next? Happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh. We have another fun product. If you have pets, I am loving this product left and right. And this is something to keep in mind if you are going back to the office. Now, this actually was reduced price of, of like, I think, $118. Right now, you can get it for $169. It has over 2,300 rates, sorry, 23,000 ratings, four and a half stars. Now, I'm talking about the Furbo DAW camera, since we're talking about cameras. Why I'm specifically liking this particular camera is that it is a 1080p dog camera. It also has a night vision. So if your pet, you happen to be like right now it's raining. If your pet was not, was at home and the lights weren't on, you would be able to see it because you, your pet, because of the night vision camera that it has. Plus the fact that it also has a two-way audio, which allows you to be able to hear when your dog is barking. There is an actual alarm that allows you to be able to sense what's happening at home. 
And the more important part is that it actually allows you to disperse a treat. So if you like giving your dogs treats, this is something to perhaps consider picking up. Plus the fact that it works with Alexa. Oh, sorry, Mike TV. It works with Echo. <laughs> I don't know if Mike TV is still around, but if you have an uh, a uh, a smart device with an A, I'm just letting you know. I'm not going to say the name just in case it goes off. But let's take a closer look to see if this is a product that you're interested in perhaps picking up. We're talking about the Furbo dog camera. It is the number one bestseller in pet cameras. What I like about this particular cam, this particular product, is the fact that it has a 1080p camera. And apologies for the sound outside. It's what happens when you live in New York City. Um, anyway, it is what it is. And so it also has night vision, which I think is extremely important as well in case you happen to leave your dog in the dark, which I hope you don't, but just in case. And the fact that it also has two-way audio and it has this barking alert. So it basically lets you know when your dog is barking. Now the camera itself has a 160 wide uh, angle, which I think is very important to keep in mind, which means that it'll cover a lot of space. Uh, and, and also the fact that you're able to uh, dispense a treat if you needed to. Also, there's a 90 day free uh, cloud recording so that you can be able to, um, again, have the ability to get this particular um, recording for 90 days and also a treat. So Marco, we're getting to it soon. We will get into it soon. So just so you're aware, hold on tight. So if you're looking to be able to actually uh, um, be able to see what is happening in your home with your pet, then this is one specific product to consider picking up. So hopefully it allows you to have more sense as to what's happening at home, especially when you're going back into the office and you're not sure what's happening at home as well. Now, one of the other products I wanted to share with you, and before we do go into a giveaway, if you're just watching, by the way, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of this live. All you really need to do is hit that follow button and we will see, it depends, Marco. If we don't have a lot of people participating, I can't really give away anything if it's only one or two people, that's not fair. Oh, and uh, the, the giveaway is today. Yes, it is, but we will see who participates. If no one participates, Marco, I can't do a giveaway. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So this next product I wanted to share is a life changer and this particular product is going to make your life a lot easier if you happen to have a remote uh, air conditioner mini split portable air conditioner uh, any air conditioner or product uh, that has to do with air uh, that uses a actual uh, remote control, this is one that you may want to consider picking up, especially for the fact that um, it is uh, not super expensive. So this has over 1900 ratings. It's currently available for $114. And we're going to take a closer look at the product itself. I'm talking about the Sensible Sky. The Sensible Sky, they were very smart in what they did. It works with, uh, that giveaway, Marco, is at the end. Uh, August 1st, and that really depends as to, I don't know if you signed up for it, Marco, but if you did, you would have received an email if you would have uh, signed up via email, but we'll talk about that, Marco, in a second. So this particular product, which is a Sensible Sky, is only does not take a really long time. It works well with your Google Home, with your uh, your Echo, as well as your Siri. So if you wanted to be able to control your um, air conditioner without worrying about using an actual remote control, then this is one that you may want to consider picking up. What this specific product does, and I'm going to show it to you right now as well. What this particular product does is, this is the Sensibo, and I'm not sure what happened to this coloring, but anyway, this is the Sensibo uh, Sky. I actually have it already installed, so you're not going to see it specifically in here. But what I liked about this particular product is that it basically takes over your remote. So think of it as a universal remote control. And what it does is you just pair it with your remote with this device and within seconds, uh, or maybe 60 seconds, I should say, you're now able to use your, um, what do you call it? Your Google Assistant, your uh, Echo or Siri to control your air conditioner. So that way you're not having to use a remote anymore. And I'm loving it. I basically tell my Echo to turn it on, turn it off, set the degrees, and it's not a problem at all. So if you're looking for something that will make your air conditioning smart, 
and not have to worry about any kind of additional equipment, then this is one to consider picking up. Let's take a closer look to see if this is something that you're interested in again, picking up. We're talking about the Sensibo, and as I was mentioning before, it's small, you're just, only thing you have to do is make sure you plug it into the wall so it is powered. And so this one allows you to be able to um, control your air conditioner by basically replacing your remote itself. So this way you're not having to worry about um, anything because you can now control it with your Google, with Siri, or even with your Echo device. Now this particular product replaces only air conditioning that has uh, remote controls. If your AC, your mini split, your portable AC, or your central with air, <clears throat> sorry, your central with remote uh, does not have a remote, it will not work. So I'm just letting you know that right now. So if your any of your your air devices does not have a remote, it will not work. But if it does have an actual remote, then this is a product that you may want to consider picking up, especially since it gives you that ability to control your air conditioning um, and make your device smart. So you can be able to turn it on. It also tells you if, whether or not it's, it's energy efficient, meaning like how long you've been using it. it. You use their specific native app. And again, you're able to easily use uh, and control it. So I know for myself, I'm able to ask my Echo, I'm not using her other name, uh, to basically turn on and turn off my air conditioner without a problem. So when it gets too cold, I tell her to shut it off. And if um, it's not that big of a device, as you can see here, let me just show you. Uh, the box is relatively small. It's not a very big device. I don't have it here, Jeff, to be able, because I, I actually did the mistake of actually putting it into, um, when I was playing with it, I stuck it onto my air conditioner. I should not have done that so you could have actually seen it. But close to prove to you what, that I am actually using it so that I'm able to, again, sh uh, share with you what I'm actually using so that you can see whether or not it's worth it. And I found it worth it because it's a small device. The box is not that big. Um, and it has an adhesive so that you can basically plug it in, sorry, uh, stick it onto either your air conditioner or anything else. And again, it's made my life a lot easier because I don't have to worry about um, adding anything else. So this, think of it this as a universal remote for your air conditioner, whether you have a mini split or anything else. And by the way, many, many years ago, I tried to upgrade my uh, air conditioner because it had like this little motherboard. I wound up burning it near July 4th. So that was the biggest mistake I ever made. So this will not have to, you don't have to worry about that because again, you don't have to focus on that because this again will take over your remote as well. So uh, how do you get notifications when a live streamer goes live? So Marco, the way you get notifications and it should work is when you follow. So I don't know if you're following me, over here where my hand is, there's like a little follow section. You should be able to click on the follow and that will then supposed to give you a notification. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I can't really <laughs> say why, but uh, usually what happens is when you go on Amazon Live, there should be uh, a list of all your, all your creators that you're following at this point in time. So I do believe you're following. I don't remember off the top of my head. So I apologize, Marco. So don't, don't yell at me if that's true. <laughs> happy, happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you are doing well. Oh, just saying the notifications don't work. Yeah, I get the same. Like some people say the notifications do work. Sometimes they don't. I, I know I've been following other live streamers as well, and sometimes I get notifications and sometimes it doesn't. So if you are interested in following, feel free to do so. We are almost at the, uh, they don't buy email you. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on, uh, but they don't email you. No, they don't, they don't email you. So that's the one thing when it comes to notifications here, they don't email you. I, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to work because, um, well, actually, Oh, I know. So the way the notifications work that it's worked for me is if you happen to have the Amazon shopping uh, application on your phone, it will give you a notification that says such and such is going live or is live. But you have to have that actual applica uh, application for you to be able to um, to know when someone is going live. And that's the only way I've seen, because I was thinking about when I've been notified and it's been notified because of that. And let me show you what it is actually, where's my phone? So this is the one, hold on.
Hold on one second. The only way I know when people are actually going live, because I've been following different uh, live streamers as well, is you'll see here it says Amazon Shopping. So that's an app. And that allows you to then see who is going live, but otherwise you don't get email notifications. I wish it was a little bit more sophisticated. And we have Impartial Geek here. Welcome. I wish they used the Twitch backbone for the streams. Yes, I completely agree. Welcome, welcome, Impartial Geek. Uh, CS Training, thanks so much for the follow. And just for that, I want to just do this. Yay! <laughs> thanks so much for following. I really appreciate it. It's always nice to just be able to, to be rewarded with follows. Um, and so we have Impartial Geek here. I think you have a blue check mark. Yes, that's correct. So if you are uh, interested in learning about Impartial Geek, feel free to give him a follow. I, I don't think we've met Impartial Geek, but I'd love to learn a little bit more about what you stream about as well. And I do agree with you 100%. I wish there was a lot more ways of being able to uh, have a way of being able to notify when people actually go on live because... I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, there are a lot of things I think they need to still implement, but it's still evolving. Hopefully, it will implement. It will. It will. It will happen at some time. And so, where are we today? So we're going to be doing a giveaway now. In order for this giveaway to happen, uh, let me just make sure I have everything set up. Partial geek. If you happen to have, uh, we have not met. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, impartial geek, welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, you can you can stalk as much as you like. Anything I can be able to share with you on my own experience, happy to be able to do that as well. As you can see, I am on YouTube. I'm not that big. I'm big on Twitter, actually, not on YouTube. But anyway, that's old school. But neither here or there. Uh, but I'm here. That's the important part. Uh, but if you are more than happy to reach out on any of my socials. It's at Professor Toronto. Happy to share anything that I can as your growing your live stream here on this particular platform. It's a little bit different, uh, but it's always fun. Now, and that's the important part. You have to have fun here. If you don't have fun, you people can tell. People can tell. So let me just make sure. Um, where is this? My mouse isn't working as well as I'd like it to. And here we go. All right, so we're going to be doing a giveaway, and this giveaway will happen this live if we have enough followers. If we don't have enough followers, then we will be definitely be doing it tomorrow for the existing followers. Let's take a look. Let's do this. If you're not trying to figure out what this is about, this is the giveaway that we do. Where is my overlay here? It's my spinning wheel. Yes, my spinning wheel. Oh, I see. So we only have two people that have followed. We need a little more than that for that to happen. We have Impartial Geek. You can participate. We have Kayla, Impartial Geek. We have CS Training. So if we have enough followers, we'll be doing the cash giveaway today. If not, we'll definitely be doing it tomorrow. And this is not a bait thing, by the way. I just don't think it makes sense to add just three people's names on a wheel. <laughs> So we need to make sure we have enough people to be able to at least, you know, do that. So our Amazon live streams new. So Marco, Amazon live streams kicked off in 2019 and it started actually um, inviting uh, different influencers from different platforms around June of 2020. And it's only until more recently that you're starting to see uh, a lot more people joining the platform as well. So to answer your question, it's relatively new uh, and you're going to probably see more people as well uh, joining the platform as the months continue. So Impartial Geek, thank you for the follow. And actually, no, that's not fair. And, you know, you need this one as well. Hold on. Yay! So if you are uh, interested in participating in the giveaway, we have three people so far um, who have just followed. And if you're interested in it, just hit the follow button. All you got to do is hit up here. We'll add your name up here. I have to wipe this board out. So it's a little deceiving. So I have three. So to have three, it's going to again, we need to make it a little bit more fun. So Impartial Key, what is your overall experience with Amazon Lime? Do you like it so far? Yes, exactly, Impartial Geek. Yay! And so what uh, my experience has been so far, it's been a great experience. I am very blessed to have this opportunity to just be able to reach and talk about different products that I really like a lot. You know, I am a bit of a geek like you, <laughs> Impartial Geek. And so I'm always trying to find cool stuff 
things that basically make your life a lot easier so that you're not having to lift a finger. And so most of the content I primarily focus on is in electronics, home and pets, basically everything smart technology that's again designed to make your life a lot easier. And I think the hardest part I found on this particular farm, well, and also thank you Amazon customer for following. Also you get this as well. And so um, the the when you get used to it, and you, I think I've I may have seen you on um, on the deal team as the deal team, no deals guy as well. I think I may have seen you as uh, not seen you, but seen you ch chatting with him as well. So I think you get used to it. Uh, it is a bit of a different platform because we are here to talk about products. We also talk about ourselves, but it's about products. Um, and so it just really depends on your style. And what I, again, really love about this platform is I'm kind of talking and testing and also another Amazon customer follow. We get another one. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully it's not the same Amazon customer turning it on and off. Turning... <laughs> um, but what I was saying before was that it is, um, yeah, I think this this particular this particular platform is is quite unique. I don't. It's not going to go away. I love it because it is kind of like a QVC HSN, although that's not what we want to say. Uh, but you're doing it at your own style, and so that's what this has afforded me is that style to just be able to uh, talk about different products, finding deals. And for me, I love technology, but also know it can be quite expensive. So I'm always trying to find technology products that are with coupons or lightning deals. That's my thing because I'm always trying to find things that are not expensive because, you know, I don't have a lot of money either. So I'm always trying to help other people try to find that as well. So that's the kind of the space that I live in. And you love talking about products for the past five years. You've been doing open uh, tech Q&A streams on YouTube. Yeah, I will say the one thing, um, Impartial Geek, this is not like YouTube. It's not like TikTok. Um, it is, it's gonna, it, you're gonna have to test it out and see what works for you, what audience gravitates to you. I know when I first started out, I barely got five people watching. I have now 66. So it does take some time to be able to build up. So similar to when you first started using YouTube, it's gonna be the same exact process. So just, just the only thing that I would just kind of recommend is keeping that in mind, is that it's not going to be that same level that where you came from. Like on Twitter, I'm very, very, I have like 47,000 followers, which to me is a lot, but again, it's very different. So that's one thing I would advise um, Impartial Geek is that when you're on the platform itself, just think about what your intention is and just make it happen. My intention here is to share what I can as far as uh, deals and, and technology products that will, won't will break the bank. Well, when I say technology products, things are basically robotics. I teach automation. I mean, I am a professor. I teach automation. I teach process efficiency. And I also teach psychology. So uh, this allows me to have that little fun side versus being super, super uptight. <laughs> um, you already have a community. So I've been averaging 20 to 50 years on your last two streams. Uh, yes, yes. If you have a lot of uh, YouTube followers, it will help a lot. Um, I will say that it also depends on the YouTuber because I've seen some YouTubers who have like over 200,000 not really get a lot of people uh, coming over. So it really just depends. So yes, I also love automation. So Impartial Geek, we have to have... Uh, where are you based, by the way, Impartial Geek? I'm here in New York City. So... Um, yeah, so as you're kind of letting me know, and there's also a lag. It's like a 30, I tested it out, 30 to 40 second lag. So um, we have Zoe, 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 welcome. And Yay! <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Zoe and everybody else that has been following, we're going to add your names to our giveaway that's up here. Not today, because I think I only have like five or six people I just followed uh, so that we can be able to make it fair for everyone as well. So if you're interested in participating in the giveaway, we will be doing the giveaway. Just uh, hit that follow button over here. We'll add your name and we'll do a cash giveaway as well. And you're in Vancouver, Washington. So I'm in New York City. So yeah, you're on the West Coast. And uh, why was I asking? Oh, I wanted to ask us this, if you, we can grab you know coffee or something like that, but it'll be really hard because you're on we're different sides of the, of the US. But at some point, we'll hopefully be able to get to meet. And again, feel free to reach out if there's anything I can be able to do to help out as you go through your journey. I'm also always interested in meeting other fellow techies as well. So 
Here we are. Happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. We covered several different products. Feel free to take a look at that. If you just joined Amazon Live and you're like, what is this? There are 40 different products up here, down here, I should say. If you're watching on your desktop or your laptop, just scroll right, left. And if you're watching on your um, mobile device or your tablet, you're going up and down. Take a look to see what's there. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to let me know. Be able to, I'm happy to be able to answer any of those questions as well. And you're saying, um, let me see here. So Impartial Tech and I are having a chit chat as well about tech and fun and uh, buy a lot of gear. Yes. Five days a week. On. Okay. So yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely appreciate impartial geek connecting, chit chatting. And, uh, so, and so, so how, so wait, S blank saying, how do I know for sure you have my name besides Amazon customer? So when we do the giveaway, by the way, um, if you have a name, Amazon customer, I'm going to ask you to give me your name because in order for you to be able to receive the prize, if you win the prize, I need to contact you. There's no way I can give you the money without knowing who you are. So that's kind of what we would, that's how I would know. And so impartial geek, why do some people, um, show up as Amazon customer? It's because when they opened up the account, their user profile, either it's been a hit hidden as private or they just, and anyway, by the way, you can change it. Like you have impartial geek, you could change it to whatever you want, but that's because they have kept it private. So that's why when they uh, follow, it shows as Amazon customer, they can actually change that if they wanted to, to be able to show their name or, you know, whatever name they want to be able to go by. So that's why you see a lot of Amazon customers. And to be very frank with you, impartial geek, I don't think they know that their name defaults to Amazon customer. So I think that's also the other reason why that tends to happen. I don't think they're notifying that you need to change the name uh, or you can change the name if you wanted to. Uh, don't ask me exactly how to do that now because I have to actually do it myself to figure out if I want to like, how, do the, how does the name change happen? But that's one of the reasons why I think you see a lot of people. And as Jeff is saying, so many Amazon customers here. So before we kind of go, we wanted to just make sure you are welcome. It is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. This is Smart Tech with Professor Torado. I typically teach automation, process efficiency, and the psychology behind work. But here we are on Amazon Live talking about all things smart technology to make your life easier. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know on any of the products that we have. And S Blank saying, how do you change it? Never mind. Yes, I don't know off the top of my head, S Blank, but you know what I am going to do after this? I'm going to find out how to easily give instructions for people to change their Amazon customer name if they wanted to. Now, we were just talking about a whole bunch of different products here. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Monday is awesome because Tuesday, because Taco Tuesday comes after it. Yes, Impartial Geek. Tomorrow is Taco Tuesday, and tomorrow is 100%, no matter what, how many people have followed, we will be doing our giveaway. So, Marco, make sure you're back here. I go live at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time. I tend to run about an hour, hour and a half. So, if you want to come in around 6.30-ish or so, if I'm still yip-yapping, you know it's going to be a little late, later. If not, I'll be hitting this button to be able to do the actual giveaway itself. And I do love giving, doing the giveaways when I can uh, to be able to do that. So happy, happy Monday, everyone. Uh, well, yes, Jeff T won last week, so I was super excited for him. So Impartial Geek, feel free to reach out. And um, again, if you are just watching, welcome. Happy Monday, everyone. I am about to close down because I'm going to get yelled at. I'm a half hour over time. <laughs> And so I don't want to get yelled at. But if you have any questions or if you're interested in being notified when I go live, all you need to do is hover over here, click on the button, hit the follow button. Uh, if not, that's okay. You are always welcome to reach out and say hello on my direct messages. Do not slide into my DMs. You can go into my DMs, say hello. I am on Amazon, obviously here, on YouTube, TikTok, uh, my main known known is uh, as um, Twitter, Instagram. I'm also on Clubhouse. So whole bunch of different uh, sites. I don't think I'm on Snapchat yet. So anyway, I don't know if I'm planned to. Anyway, Marco, you're on the West Coast. Good to know that. So feel free to join. And again, thank you so much, Impartial Geek, for being here and for everyone following. 
wherever you are. If you are in Asia, happy Monday, well, happy Tuesday and good morning. And if you're in uh, Europe, good, good evening. Well, I, what I'm trying to say is good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And no matter where you are, hopefully you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. And thanks so much for being able to be here with me today and have a great, great day. Take care, everyone. Bye.